Lesson 8.7, Fractions of a Group. In this chapter so far, we've learned about fractions of a whole. And we can name fractions of a group of objects. Emma bought three flowers, two red and one yellow. Two-thirds of the flowers were red. Two out of the three were red. That's a fraction of the group of three flowers. Some fractions name the whole group. Emma bought three flowers. Each flower was red. Three-thirds of the flowers were red. Three of three were red. That means all of them were red, doesn't it? And when the numerator and the denominator are the same, that means we have one whole, don't we? So one whole group of flowers that she bought were red. Some fractions can name more than a whole group. They are fractions greater than one. We learned about that in the last lesson, video 8.6. Emma has 12 cookies. She puts them in boxes that can hold six cookies each. Each box is one whole. It's one whole box. And she fills two whole boxes. She's got 12 cookies with six in each box. She's got 12 six. That's two whole boxes. Emma and Tala each have a collection of gems. What fraction of each collection is green? We look at Emma's gems and we see three green ones. We look at Tala's and she's got two green ones that are in a bag. She's got two in four bags each, doesn't she? We can use a fraction to name part of a group. Here, there's eight gems in all, so that's the total number of gems, that's our denominator, and the number of green gems, there's three of them, that's our numerator. For Tala's, because she has them in bags, we can say one bag has green gems out of four total bags. We could also say she has two green gems out of eight gems, couldn't we? She has two eighths, we could also say she has one-fourth. Emma's is three-eighths green. Three-eighths are green gems. Three out of eight are green gems. We write three-eighths. For Tala's, because she's got them in four bags, four groups, one-fourth of the bags have green gems. One out of four bags have green gems. We can also say two out of eight, two eighths of the gems are green if we don't pay attention to the bags. One fourth and two eighth is the same amount. We can name part of a group. Here we have six gems and two of them are pink. We have two, that's the number of pink gems, and our denominator is a six because that's the total number of gems. We can say four six are not pink gems. We have four purple ones, those aren't pink. So we could say four six are not pink, two six are pink. Four is the number of not pink gems and six is the total number of gems. We can complete the whole number and the fraction greater than one to name the part filled. So we have these boxes of crayons and there are one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight crayons in each box. That's eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16. And two times eight is equal to 16, isn't it? We have one more eight, that's three times eight. Three eights are 24. There's eight in each box, but we have 24 in all. That's gonna give us three whole boxes of crayons. Here we have six apples. We can write a fraction to name the yellow part of the group. We have one, two, three yellow apples. There's six apples in all. Our numerator is a three for the three yellow apples. Our denominator is a six for the total of the apples. Three out of six apples are yellow. Three sixths 
are yellow. We count the number of yellow apples for the numerator, and we count the number of all the apples for the denominator. We can also write a fraction to name the yellow part of three groups. Here we have three groups of apples, and one group is yellow. We can say one group of yellow apples, and there's three groups in all, that's one-third. One out of three groups are yellow. One-third is yellow. We count the number of yellow groups, there's one, that's our numerator. And we count the number of all the groups, there's three, for our denominator. And we can also look at it as there's two apples out of six apples that are yellow, so we can also name this fraction two-sixths. We can draw a quick picture, then write a fraction to name the given shaded part. It tells us to draw four circles, so I did. Now it's telling us to shade four circles. So I shaded all four circles. We can write the fraction, how many shaded circles there are. There are four. And for the denominator, we write how many total circles there are in all. There's four. Four of the four circles are shaded. That means we have one whole group that are shaded. They're all shaded. We need to draw 10 triangles, so I did. We need to make five groups. We circle groups so that we have five groups. Now it's telling us to shade one group. So I've shaded this one group. We can write our fraction. How many shaded groups are there? There's one. And how many groups are there in all? How many total groups are there? There are five. It told us to make five. So our denominator is a five. One-fifth of the groups are shaded. One out of five. Now we've only got a couple more lessons for chapter eight, and you should be memorizing your seven facts. So if you haven't started that, you need to be working on that, because in the next couple lessons, you're going to have to start memorizing your eight facts. So I hope you're doing well on that. And you can also see the Joanne School Facebook page for an image of fraction strips that you can copy and paste and print and cut out so that you can work with fraction strips to help you with your homework. This bar graph right here shows the winners of a tic-tac-toe contest. Let's take a look at the bar graph. This is the number of games won. So there's one, two, three, or four. We have Tala, Bob, Emma, and Tim. And it looks like Tala won three of them. The bar goes up to the three. Bob won one of the games. Emma won three games. And Tim won two games. We need to find how many games were played. We need to add all the numbers of the games won to know how many games were played in all. Tala won three. We add that to the one that Bob won. We add that to the three that Emma won. We add that, that to the two that Tim won. 3 plus 1 plus 3 plus 2, that's 9 games in all. What fraction of the games did Tim win? Well, we can see he won 2, and because there were 9 games, he won 2 ninths. He won 2 out of 9 games. Tim won 2 ninths, or we can write it as 2 ninths of the games. We had to add the number of all the games won to find how many in all. Then we had to look at how many Tim won, and that was our numerator. How many games in all was our denominator. Here we have some little penguins. Some of them are wearing coats and some of them aren't. And what fraction of the penguins are wearing a pink or blue coat? So we need to find pink or blue. We have a pink one, we have a blue one, we have a pink one, we have a blue one, a blue one. Oh look, here's a green one. It's not asking about green, we just need pink or blue. So we have one, two, three, four, five penguins are wearing a pink or blue coat. 
That's our numerator. That's how many we're counting. Now we need to know for the denominator how many penguins in all. There's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten penguins in all. The number that we're wearing pink or blue that we counted is our numerator and how many in all is our denominator. Now we need to find what fraction of the penguins are not wearing a coat. Well, I count one, two, three, four are not wearing a coat. That's how many we're counting that are not wearing a coat. That's our numerator. Our denominator will be how many penguins in all. We know there's 10 penguins in all from before, don't we? We know four out of 10 are not wearing a coat. So four tenths are not wearing a coat. So remember, the numerator is how many we're counting or how many are shaded. And the denominator is the total or how many one whole is split into. We have four circles here. One is red. So we can say one of the four red circles, that would be one fourth, that's in the whole group. We can also have one thing that is split into four parts and we can say one fourth is red. So it can either be a whole thing that was split into equal parts or it could be a group of items like this. That's one fourth. That's one fourth. It's one of four. In our next lesson, 8.8, .8, we're going to be finding part of a group using unit fractions. And that's going to help you for next year in fourth grade when you learn to multiply fractions. So remember, fractions of a group can be like Tala's gems here. She has four bags, so that's four groups. And one of them is green, so one-fourth is green. Okay? I hope you have a wonderful day, and I'll see you next time. Bye.